this graduation or anything, right? Oh. Parties. Parties? Yeah. No, Back in the day. Party. Oh, yeah, yeah, don't dance like you, gentlemen. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> well, it was so nice hearing Kill the Romeo for the first time, the audio without I the live. Like, you know, hearing the music from, from that's from live and from the real music, real music, you can hear the beats, like here. Yeah, studio version, you can hear the beats and everything, it sounds so very good. And apart from, from us seeing it from the performance, it just sounds like a familiar song. It's not like, it's like released two years ago or something. There is some parts of the song I feel like I've been hearing, hearing it. Me too. Like I, I just can't figure it out yeah. this song. I'm like, huh? This song is new? Yeah, it's only the two of us can understand. <laughs> Plus the people watching, some yeah, of you know. Some of the people watching. Yeah. Because we're checking here. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's go to the second 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 performance. Boy next so dangerous. <laughs> Second time we're hearing this song and it's it's like it sounds different from the first time we heard. Mm. That's so a good. I don't know why. We know what the song is about now. I think. Really? Yeah. And we've seen the music video. Me personally, I was trying to relate to the music video mm -hmm. on some parts of the song, specifically on this video. Yeah. But we just watched the vi music video, mm -hmm. and it's the same day. Mm -hmm. But it, feels it sounds it feels different. I don't know why. I don't know why. It sounds more lit now. Oh. Because it's the, the, more you listen, the more you listen to it, the more you like it. Yeah, maybe. It's maybe. Into you. And we're focusing more on the performance, the dances. It's very, very nice. You when it was starting you were like, Oh, like that last time. What are you saying? Oh the video. They had another performance like the way it started. Oh. Uh, almost. Okay. Okay. 
All right, all right. So we're going to Oh My Girl. Classified. Yes. One the kill for. <laughs> Yeah. That was five of almost. Well, that color we have a national clothing line. It's called the Maasai cloth. It's that color. Wow. Right, right, right. When I thought when I had the national, I thought it was something it's cultural. Cultural attire. Yeah, that's okay, cultural. Cultural. Not national. Not national. Sorry, cultural attire. But if you if you say how do you represent Tanzania, people will say that's the national. Time. Uh, you wear the suit of national flag? Yeah. Because yeah. Masa is a day in Kenya too. Yeah, but still, like, I feel like what, one of the cultural attires that represents Zanzibar is yeah, the Masa. Yeah, I think cultural. Yeah. The national. I agree. The cultural. Fit. Okay, what I say, Tanzania, like, when we used to go in China and we do uh, national words, those things of national, national, yeah, when you cultural outfits. Your, your country, country. Mm-hmm. most people are wearing them, they have those masks and sugars. That's why they say traditional clothes. We wear these, 
It's because the chagas we don't have the clothes. We have traditional clothes that we don't wear. Which is it? We wear skin and the thing there. Yeah. Uh, excuse me. Those are chagas. <laughs> Those are like olden days, back in the day. Yeah. Yeah. But it's not, we're talking about. Even man that's said that's music from the old days. Yeah. Yeah. We're still wearing until now. Chagas don't wear that skins, right? You know what I'm saying, like Maasai, it represents us, even though we're not uh, Maasai tribe, but that cloth is like that, it's black and red, yeah, just white and red. Okay. White and red? <laughs> black, white and red? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> anyway, let's go to 